Galician is an Indo-European language of the Western Ibero-Romance branch. It is spoken by some 2.4 million people, mainly in Galicia, an autonomous community located in northwestern Spain, where it is official along with Spanish. The language is also spoken in some border zones of the neighboring Spanish regions of Asturias and Castile and Leon, as well as by Galician migrant communities in the rest of Spain, in Latin America, the United States, Switzerland and elsewhere in Europe. Modern Galician is part of the West Iberian Languages Group, a family of Romance languages that includes the Portuguese language, which developed locally from Vulgar Latin and evolved into what modern scholars have called Medieval Galician or Galician Portuguese. Dialectal divergences are observable between the northern and southern forms of Galician Portuguese in 13th century texts but the two dialects were similar enough to maintain a high level of cultural unity until the middle of the 14th century, producing the medieval Galician Portuguese lyric. The divergence has continued to this day, producing the modern languages of Galician and Portuguese. The lexicon of Galician is predominantly of Latin extraction, although it also contains a moderate number of words of Germanic and Celtic origin, among other substrates and adstrates, having also received, mainly via Spanish, a number of nouns from the Arabic of El Andalus. The language is officially regulated in Galicia by the Royal Galician Academy. However, independent organizations such as the Galician Association of Language and the Galician Academy of the Portuguese Language include Galician as part of the Portuguese language, as the Galician Portuguese variant, classification and relation with Portuguese, modern Galician and its sibling, Portuguese originated from a common medieval ancestor designated variously by modern linguists as Galician Portuguese or Medieval Galician or Old Galician or Old Portuguese. This common ancestral stage developed in the territories of the Old Kingdom of Galicia, which covered the territories of modern-day Galicia and northern Portugal. In the 13th century it became a written and cultivated language. In the past Galician and Portuguese formed a dialect continuum. For many scholars this continuum still exists today at the level of rural dialects. Others point out that modern Galician and Portuguese have diverged to such an extent during the past seven centuries that they now constitute two closely related but separate languages. Historically, the Galician Portuguese language originated from Vulgar Latin as a Western Romance language in the lands now in Galicia, Asturias and northern half of Portugal, which belonged to the medieval Kingdom of Galicia, itself comprising approximately the former Roman territory of Galaresia as modified during the two centuries of the Suevich Kingdom of Galicia. The standards of the language began to diverge in the 14th century, as Portuguese became the official language of the independent Kingdom of Portugal and its chancellery. Whilst Galician was the language of the scriptoria of the lawyers, noblemen and churchmen of the Kingdom of Galicia, then integrated in the Crown of Castile and open to influence from Castilian language, culture and politics. During the 16th century the Galician language stopped being used in legal documentation, becoming de facto an oral language, with just some use in lyric, theatre and private letters. The linguistic status of Galician with respect to Portuguese is controversial, and the issue sometimes carries political overtones. There are linguists who deal with modern Galician and modern Portuguese as norms or varieties of the same language. Some authors, such as Lindley Sintra, consider that they are still co-dialects of a common language. In spite of superficial differences in phonology and vocabulary, while others, such as Pilar Vazquez Cuesta, argue that they have become separate languages due to major differences in phonetics and vocabulary usage, and, to a lesser extent, morphology and syntax. Fernandez Ray in 1990 stated that the Galician language is, with respect to Portuguese, an Osbo language, a language through elaboration, and not an abstand language, a language through detachment. 
with respect to the external and internal perception of this relation, for instance in past editions of the Encyclopaedia Britannica, Galician was defined as a Portuguese dialect spoken in northwestern Spain. However, most Galician speakers do not regard Galician as a variety of Portuguese but as a different language. As modern Galician evolved without interruption and in situ from medieval Galician, mutual intelligibility is very high between Galicians and Portuguese. Opposing views The official position of the Galician Language Institute is that Galician and Portuguese should be considered independent languages. The standard orthography is noticeably different from the Portuguese, partly because of the divergent phonological features, and partly due to the use of Spanish orthographic conventions, which ignore many proper Galician features, like her open and close vowels, which do not exist in Spanish. The official institution regulating the Galician language, backed by the Galician government and universities, the Royal Galician Academy, claims that modern Galician must be considered an independent Romance language belonging to the group of Ibero-Romance languages and having strong ties with Portuguese and its northern dialects. However, the Associacom Galigo da Língua and Academia Galigo da Língua Portuguesa, belonging to the reintegrationist movement, support the idea that differences between Galician and Portuguese speech are not enough to justify considering them as separate languages. Galician is simply one variety of Galician Portuguese. Along with Brazilian Portuguese, African Portuguese, the Galician Portuguese still spoken in Spanish Extremadura, Fala, and other dialects. Political implications due to the history of both languages and of both territories. The relationship involving Galician and Portuguese can be compared with that between Flemish and Dutch, Macedonian and Bulgarian, Aromanian with Romanian, Occitan and Catalan. These contrasting attitudes have distinct political implications. Considering Galician as an independent language reduces contact with Portuguese culture, leaving Galician as a minor language with less capacity to counterbalance the influence of Spanish, the only official language between the 18th century and 1975. On the other hand, viewing Galician as a part of the Lusophony, whilst not denying its own characteristics, shifts cultural influence from the Spanish domain to the Portuguese. Although it is difficult to clarify the political positions of those who favor one view or the other, the vindication of Galician as an independent language is generally associated with more conservative political thought linked to certain Spanish political and administrative structures. Some scholar authors describe the situation as properly a continuum, from the Galician variants of Portuguese in one extreme to the Spanish language in the other, reintegrationist points of view are closer to the Portuguese extreme, and so-called isolationist ones would be closer to the Spanish one. Geographic distribution and legal status Galician is spoken by some 3 million people, including most of the population of Galicia and the numerous Galician communities established elsewhere, in Spain, in other European cities, and in the Americas. Galician is today official, together with the Spanish language, in the Autonomous Community of Galicia, where it is recognized as the autochthonous language, being the first language of the local administrations and governments. It is taught bilingually, alongside Castilian, in both primary and secondary education. It is also used at the three universities established in Galicia, having also the consideration of official language of the three institutions. Galician has also legal recognition in the Bierzo region in Leon, and in four municipalities in Zamora. The other languages with official status elsewhere in Spain are Castilian, Catalan, Basque and Aranese. Galician has also been accepted orally as Portuguese in the European Parliament, having been used by some Galician representatives, among others. José Posada, Camilo Nogueira and XOSE Acute Manuel Virus. Controversy exists regarding the inclusion of Eonavian into the Galician language. 
as it has some traits in common with Western Asturian or Babel Occidental. There are those defending these linguistic varieties as dialects of transition to the Astro-Leonese group on the one hand, and those defending it as clearly Galician varieties on the other. The recent edition of the Cartularies of Oscos in Eon Avia and Cartularies of Obona, Cornellana, Corias and Belmont in Middle West of Asturias have shown a huge difference in the medieval speech between both banks of the Navia River. An examination of the old documents of the Ionavian Monastery of Oscos, written from the late 12th to early 14th century to 16th century, shows a clear identification of this language with the Galician Portuguese linguistic group, whilst contemporary parchments elsewhere in Asturias are written in Castilian. The two most important traits of those commonly used to tell apart Galician Portuguese and Asturian Leonese varieties are the preservation of the mid-open vowels and which became diphthongs in Asturian Leonese, and the loss of intervocalic n preserved in the latter language.